What's going on guys, it's Apollo1 and today we're going to be looking at another class setup for Call of Duty Ghost and this gun is just amazing, I can't wait to show you guys what we're going to be taking a look at today. Um, this gun is is like the ACR of Modern Warfare 3. If you're still trying to find that gun that just pretty much works in all gunfights, it's very, very accurate, that has a good damage rate, it's very mo mobile, and it's just overall a really good gun, then this is the gun for you. Um, this is a very, very, very effective gun when going for chem strikes. Um, I can guarantee you guys will see an increase in your gameplay if you use this gun, and I'll give you a few tips on... Um, how to use this gun in the situations you should put yourself when using this gun and the gunfights that you should uh, look to get in when using this gun. So let's go ahead and start this class setup. Now we're going to be looking at the Remington R5 and this is like the ACR of Call of Duty Ghosts from Modern Warfare 3. And uh, as you can see it's a fully automatic high damage output and range combined with a reduced fire rate for stability. And um, you can see that without the uh, the attachments, the accuracy is already very, very good. The damage is incredible. The range is incredible. The fire rate is a little bit low, but still very good. And the mobility is very good. And just compared to the, some of the other assault rifles, as you can see, uh, it's very good. Like this one, the fad damage is not too good. Uh, just the Remington overall, like it averages out a very good um, range of stats for the gun, the weapon stats. And um, as you can see, it's just it's a very good gun. So let's go ahead and see what I have on it. Now I decided to use the red dot sight. As you can see, uh, the range does go down a little bit. Don't ask me why. That's actually kind of weird. I don't understand. Um, now you can actually put. This is something that I, I suggest. You can you can take the uh, the red dot sight off, and you can also try using the muzzle brake, which obviously makes the range just incredible. The reason why I have the red dot sight on there is the iron sights, they're okay, they're, they're not too bad. Um, they kind of look like the ACR, but they're a little bulky, and I am not too much of a fan of them. I don't like it personally, but if you um, play with it and you do fine, then definitely put the muzzle brake on. But for my uh, class setup, we're going to be using the red dot sight. Now, for my second attachment, I have the silencer. And the silencer doesn't take off any damage whatsoever. And just because the game's starting out new here, and a lot of people are using SATCOMs, it's very, very good to use a silencer to stay off the radar so you can go behind enemy lines and flank them. Because that's a very good way to play the Call of Duty Ghost game. Um, because in this game, you do die very fast. So if you're able to flank behind them and take them out from behind without yourself getting shot at by multiple enemies, then you're going to do well just in general. If you stay to the edges of the map and play passively, you play smart, and you check your corners, you check your area around you, and you just play kind of slow, and every time you go into an open area, you kind of check the surroundings, uh, then you'll do well, and having a silencer to pick off enemies, they're not going to have a clue where you're coming from. So it's a very good attachment for this gun. I, re I just really like it on this gun. Now, I don't have a secondary. I just don't think it's necessary. Uh, my lethal, I don't have a lethal. I just... Honestly, when I play, you don't really need to use lethal. This doesn't do much. You can use a canister bomb for, you know, maybe clearing out a, a house or uh, a little uh, pathway or something if you'd like. And then a tactical, you can throw a tactical on. Personally, I think the perks, having an extra perk is much better. But if you like using a concussion or a nine bang or just anything in here, uh, feel free to take some of the perks off and try something in here. But uh, and personally, I think this class setup, you guys will just do really well with all these perks because as you can see, um, we're going to be using... 12 perks. You're going to have 12 different perks if you get your specialist bonus, so uh, very powerful. But anyways, guys, the perks that I'm using, I have 5 perks on to start with. Ready up because it makes your gun um, come up after sprinting, which is just necessary in this game because you die so fast. So having your gun on target as fast as possible, you'll be able to take out the enemy fairly fast. Um, agility, and you don't really need to use this. Actually, um, you could even try to put on... Um, Marathon to run around faster because the maps are very large. So between this and agility, uh, that's what I would use. Um, really, this is up to you. You can even use dead silence if you'd like. You could use, uh, I mean, even this. I don't know. It's really up to you guys. Uh, but personally, I'm going to be using agility because I like to be able to move around a little bit faster. You kind of feel more free. You don't feel like a slug running through the map very slowly. Um, you're more agile and stuff. So stalker guys. I promise you, you put this on your assault rifles and it will work wonders. It is amazing on assault rifles. You'll be able to, if you strafe left to right, you just aim in and you shoot at your enemy and you move either right or left, you'll be able to take out those enemies 
uh, a lot more effectively and they won't even know it's happening. You'll be able to kill them. You'll have an advantage over the people that don't use Stalker. So definitely use this. Then off the grid, I love using off the grid because like I said before, you're able to flank around the backside of enemies and take them out without being detected by the radar. Uh, this is generally very good. And then amplify. Now this, if you're not, if you don't like the sound or if you don't like to hear enemies around you uh, that you don't see on your radar or anything, don't use this. This is very important, guys. If you don't, if you're not good at hearing those footsteps, if you don't want to do that, do not use this perk. But me personally, I find it that it's just amazing when I'm in the enemy spawns, no one knows where I am because I'm a silencer and off the grid, and then I can hear the enemy's footsteps around me. I kind of have an idea of where enemies are coming from, just from even like 15, 20 yards away from me. It's very, very effective. Highly recommend it. Uh, but let's see what you can use. You could always throw on Marathon. You could always put on Focus, uh, which I have in my specialist. But there's a lot of different things that you could use um, instead of it. But my personal preference is um, using Amplify. So my Strike Package, I do have Specialist. If you don't want to go for Chem Strikes, really, and you just want to use Support, that's fine. I would highly recommend using SATCOM, probably Ballistic Fest, and... Uh, Oracle for yourself, it's kind of running support for yourself. It will, this is the best class setup if you want to go for chem strikes uh, with support. This is what you want to do. The SATCOM will help you just generally know where the enemies are. Ballistic vests keep you from dying so fast, and then the Oracle just is very good. It's like a kind of like an orbital VSAT. It shoots a ping out, and you can see where enemies are through walls and stuff. Uh, but specialist is the way I'm going to go, guys. And as you can see, I took Marathon off there. Um, so I have as my first specialist streak, I am using Scavenger, and that's so I don't run out of am ammo, it's just after you get those first three kills, you'll be able to pick up ammo, go uh, ammo again, and it it's definitely, that's what you want to have as your first, uh, perk for your strike package using specialist, I promise you, use, like, just use Scavenger, it's the way to go, so you don't find yourself running out of ammo. And you only need to get three kills in a row to get it, so it's very, very effective. And then your second perk is going to be Sleight of Hand. I just need to have Sleight of Hand, and when you're coming in encounters with multiple enemies, it's very good to have. Then Marathon, with the maps being so big in Call of Duty Ghosts, Marathon is very effective to be able to move around the map um, without... It's it's infinite sprint. It's infinite. You don't stop running. You can run forever. So if there's a big patch of land that you have to get through... Uh, in the middle of the map or something, then you'll be able to run straight through it and you won't have to like, you know, whenever you run out of sprint, you kind of stop and you move very slow. Uh, that will prevent you from getting in those sticky situations. And then for my specialist bonus, I am using um, On The Go, which allows you to run whilst reloading, which is just very effective if you're trying to move away. It just makes you feel very fast when you're moving. Then this is very important. Quick Draw, guys, is amazing in this game because... Because, like I said, you die so fast, if you can get your gun up as fast as possible onto your target and take them, get that first shot on them, you're going to win those gunfights. It's very, very important that you do that, uh, and especially in Call of Duty Ghosts. It's, it was important in other Call of Duties, but in Call of Duty Ghosts especially, you've got to have it. And then I have Focus On. This reduces flinch when getting shot at, so you won't flinch and get off target when you're shooting at someone. You'll still be accurate. And then Hardline, and it's, this is, like I said, a chem strike setup. So having Hardline, you'll have those assists count as kill, which will help you towards your chem strike if you get two assists counts as a kill. And then it will also um, require one less kill, so you'll be able to get your chem strike in 24 kills. And um, this is just a very, very good class setup for getting chem strikes, guys. I highly, highly recommend it. Um, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Hopefully this helps you out. And make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below if this did help you out or if you did try it out. And let's go for 200 likes on this video, guys. That would be absolutely amazing. All it does, it does nothing but helps us and motivates us and just shows your support. And we really, really appreciate it. So anyways, guys, it's been Apollo 1. Make sure to subscribe for more class setup videos, more chem strike gameplay, some of the best Call of Duty games gameplay on YouTube. And I'll see you guys later.